Hello, Jim Dramatic here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Robot Wars Episode Reviews. We're out of the series, into the uh, second half of the uh, specials. We had the terrible, terrible International League. We'll, ne- we'll never mention it again. And we never actually happens get... again. No, it never happens again. That's the reason why it never happens again. That's why it's, this is the an actual running event. Um, this is the first of three, I think. I think it's two. Or yep. th- yeah, three. I was right. Three yeah. televised, fourth one that happened but no that just no one saw yeah hopefully might do one for the new series you never know i mean they're going over to like they're talking to americans and stuff like that so you never know might be something happening um and uh we uh get the first world championship and of course um as you just heard i'm joined by alex the hunter i'm here at my own free will this time yes i haven't locked him in a room this time yeah. um now this is gonna be a this is gonna be a slog folks because there is technically it's almost like having two heats in one yeah, heat. 16 robots Six, 16 about. and unfortunately most of them we've already talked about before so thank, so at least, at least those ones will be rel- relatively brief mm-hmm. um i'm just gonna go in alphabetical order because i can't be bothered working out i just have one round. problem basically with these world championships all three of them is there are just two. there are far too many uk robots in it I agree. I mean, literally, all we do is just beat every robot. Like, yeah, that's the only reason I think Detonator was in the uh, War of Independence. Yeah. So we actually I mean, didn't... <laughs> in this one in particular, the th- three of the four final uh, semi-finalists were from England. It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, they couldn't have got some extra robots in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I sure... mean, you pulled something with terahertz with kilohertz to say, oh, they're from uh, the Czech Republic. Just so there wasn't, there wasn't another English robot. Could you not have just looked at someone and so it's like, have you got any parts of uh, any other country in you? I mean, you actually, I mean, there must have been a few more people from different countries. I don't know. I mean, I can't think of off the right off the bat, but there must have been someone. Unlike in the newer series, we get people from like Netherlands yeah. and stuff. It would be a lot easier to get foreign people. Yeah. But, um, of course, anyway, we'll start in only our political order based off the wiki because I can't bother. Start our first order with a number. Of course, because numbers always precede letters. And it is uh, 101, the robot built under five pounds, the durable robot, which doesn't want to die. The and weaponized curse. Weaponized curse, and the perfect robot to be crumpled, crumpled by Razor. Yes. Um, I love the fact they wrote England on it as well. Like it was, I mean, We couldn't tell 101 was from England. Yeah, um, the and first they graffitied of... all over it in this one because I think wasn't that for the razor fight because they didn't want razors to crush their expensive parts. I, th- I think it re- I, th- I think it was yeah it was for the yeah it was for the razor one yeah because uh... they they said they said where it's got writing on it please don't crush it there. <laughs> and then, thankfully, Super Bunny wasn't a tape to it, which yeah. was nice to have. But um... and it had Deator first strapped to it so it could burn. In fairness, though, I think every robot had some Deator fur at some point. It was like a, it was like a virus. Yeah. A virus that will never end, and I really hell. Hope... It looks like it's coming. The, the virus might be returning for series ten. I really hope if it's series ten or series eleven, I don't care. Come back. From what they've been, from what's been teased on their on their uh, Facebook pages, please God. But anyway, yeah. They could be besting with those you don't know, but um, they could be could be could be for series eleven, but uh, or yeah. maybe never at all. I don't know what Peter Redman's like, but uh, one on one. Again, there's not much to say about one because I've talked about one on one a lot in the past, especially on especially on Simon Harrison's podcast, but. Um, we it's just a really durable tracked robot. One of the better tracked robots in the series. Unlike Mortis, whose tracks break every two seconds, this one actually never breaks apart from it one broke time. Once in it, yeah. What once ago? Once in the tag team terror, wasn't it? Once in tag team terror, and then it got disintegrated by Fluffy. Fluffy is excusable. Fluffy is. I mean, yeah. so technically the tracks have only broken on their own once, which is not bad. Yeah. Especially for a tracked robot. Mm-hmm. But um, this this was this robot makes like grooves in the floor because it's all poly. Yeah. It's all wooden. It it's really got nails digs in. in it. Yeah. It just digs in, doesn't it? Like there's all one bit where I think uh, 101's game pushed by King Buxton, and you see like bits of the wood flying off. <laughs> yeah. Although I've got to call bullshit. I'm looking at the wiki here. A 0.05 millimeter clearance? I don't think so. I'm not seeing much ground clearance in that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, one's one one's a decent robot. It. Yeah. It just yeah, it's just a nice tracked robot, honestly. It was a spike. It was a. It was a, basically a tank with a spike, and uh, basically by se- well, actually, really, kind of by series four, they were stunned. It was getting, it was outdated. And by series five, it was completely outdated. Yeah. Hence, anarchy in series six. Yay! Uh, and then we have uh, representing uh, the only team, I think. Rep- yeah, the only team representing Scotland. All talk with Hamish on the top this time because Hamish and is with a Hamish. Scottish flag on it, and they put the uh, crusher on it. Yeah, for some reason. Like honestly, the scoop was better. The other one. Mm. Um, it wasn't really. That, did it actually work? The crusher was it just like? Yeah. A, no, I didn't think it did. And then I was, I was, I was hoping for maybe something there, but no. Uh, Hamish burned, I believe, in this. Yes. <laughs> he got, he got burned, unfortunately. Um, I love, I love, I love it when they put little mascots in the robots. I really do. Yeah. Uh, honestly, all talk was one of my favorite robots in the series. 
in terms of like you know it has again it's involved with thing two as my in my favorite battle of the whole series as well. Yeah. Um, didn't get much of a chance to shine in this particular one though because uh, no. re- unfortunately it against, it's a very biteable robot. Yeah, like, just like one hundred one, it was such a flat top that it's pretty much easy for any grabbing certain grabbing robots to get hold. I don't know which one it was. It was just a forgettable robot. Wasn't that wasn't that wasn't didn't get very far in this, but they beat yeah. them at least. Um yeah, all talks just a really powerful four wheel drive go kart pusher. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a prototype for it's a prototype tornado and storm too, really. Straight from Scotland. Yeah. Uh oh, he has go kart wheels like tornado. Yeah he did, yeah. Uh, next, we have um, uh, uh, the 50 billionth robot representing England, Bayamoth. Yes. Um, sporting the England uh, flag on it, of course, because every Which robot they, has didn't to do they it. Re- didn't they put the England flag on it from here on out? I think they, yeah, I think it became the staple at this point. Yeah. Uh, also, bullshit, by the way, its main weapons are the twin axes. Although, yeah. massive According scoop. According to the wiki, yeah. Massive scoop on the front, but uh, does that not count? Apparently, and you can tell this was filmed after their pit bull fight because they put side things on the put on the scoop. Yeah, they did. <laughs> also, also, there's a little bit of a battering on the scoop slide where they got yeah. the house robots at one point. I mean, this series of Bayamoff, and unlike the up until about series six, definitely suffered from being too slow. It didn't matter too much in the early yeah. series when half the robots are slow anyway. But it's just built. It's it's just on those robots. I think aesthetically hasn't changed that much, but. Still but, hasn't changed that much. The only difference now is it's got the side self writer, which it desperately it's needed. It's the Porsche 911 of robots. It really, much, it pretty much is. It didn't need to change that much. It just, it just got faster side self writers and more ele- better electronics. Mm-hmm. It'll still never catch a break in the new series, though, will it? No, uh, never catch a break. I mean, in what one... if they put the axe back on it? No, they'll never. I, I know something. I'm not putting the grabber on again. Oh yeah. Because yeah. Uh, they, they really all they need was the main scoop. Actually, in first though, I'll li- give them some credit. Their anti-spinner scoop works perfectly. Yes, it so, does. So there was absolutely nothing wrong with that, but just don't use the grabber. That's the only advice I give them. Only use the grabber if you're going against nuts. And that's, fa- that's what you built it yeah. for. And let's face it, because it's Bayam off, it's probably going to get into Series Ten, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean, status quo has got to be you know kept to a certain extent. As well as terahertz. It's... <sighs> I mean, I love them both, but if you come, if they come back, I'm just like at least change it. Like if it looks yeah. completely different or different look to it, fair enough. But if it's the same thing. I mean, what version of Beam are we up to now? Eight? Beam of eight or Hold something on. like that? Three, four, five, six, seven. That's the f- there's five series. There's five of them in series in the main older series. Then you have like up- excluding upgraded ones in between them. There's at least yeah. seven. Yeah, seven versions. This will be the eighth version potentially. Wow. Uh, well, if they change anything, that is. Yeah. But yeah, Beam off. I mean, hell, they came second in this in whole tournament. So yeah, hey, give them credit. They did really well. They got they got seeded sixth basically for this. Pretty much, it definitely would have boosted them. They would have got to like series twelve or thirteen, maybe if they, or maybe fourteen if they hadn't. Maybe around, maybe around kilohertz level if they hadn't yeah. got there. So this definitely boosted their profile and raises actually as well. Yeah. Um, the only team ever to represent Cyprus, Cerberus. All right, this yes. team make this team actually makes sense though. Unlike kilohertz, this sort of makes more sense because they actually are pretty much or- originated almost directly from you know, Cypriot origins. And they finally got the uh, they finally got the lights the uh, the red lights to work on Cerberus now. I love them. this. Love everything, yeah. about, love everything about Cerberus. I mean, I mentioned it in its heat, obviously, but I. It's a be- it's a beautifully sc- sculpted robot. It but it looks it, it looks better than it can fight. Just funny, actually, this one, uh, all talk and kilohertz are all in this one. They all came from the same heat, and they're all in the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's weird. They just pulled them all from this particular one. I wonder if some of these teams are just because are uh, just in this world championship because they didn't go home yet. Maybe. I mean, I don't think they would have chosen Cerberus unless they're like... They only chose Cerberus because they wanted some diversity. Because let's face it, how often yeah. are you going to get a Cy- Cypress team? I mean, it was like exactly. um, it was like when they got... Um, was, 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 did Crustacean represent South Africa? Or was it yes, Yab- it did. Also, yeah, it was them and Yabba Robo. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, God. Uh, was, yeah, and, and Supernova represented some... Uh, India. Well, they are Indian. Indian. Well, they are Indian. Yeah. Fairness, oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. They're, 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 actually, they're the only Asian team in the entire series. Mm-hmm. So uh, take for that what you will. Yeah, but uh, and so if you look at the quality of Indian robot wars, it's, they're still wired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's incredibly dangerous in, over there. Oh, hell yeah! It's like no, it's like it's. I know how people have a go like how Robot Wars was dangerous around Series Three. People get seriously fucking hurt still in India when it comes to fighting robots. There's a video on Facebook somewhere of them having a spinner fight and they don't have a roof on the arena and the bit of metal just flies off and hits someone in the face. Indian technology, folks. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, 
come on, how can you hate Cerberus? It's just amazing. Yeah. Beautiful you looking. Can't hate you can tell it's definitely been uh, after the heat, though, because it's paint chipped slightly. Yeah, it's paint chipped slightly and the it, saw's off, obviously. It suffered some battles, let's say that. Yeah. It was so lucky, though. Oh, we'll, we'll get to the reason why they were lucky, but. <laughs> Yeah, let's just say their intro wasn't in the first round. With a robot that didn't get... And a robot that didn't get very lucky. Like, Hmm. Chaos 2. Um, yeah. Chaos now, 2 took a fucking beating in this. In this. You think grand finalists you th- um, and the eventual winner, you would think... Yeah, they're going to do dominate this. Neither of their fights, they dominated. Yeah. I mean, okay, they got past the first round, granted, but they still almost died to kilohertz because they almost got uh, their CO2 gang- tank emptied. But they had, look, yeah. they only won because they had one last flip in their flipper, and that was it. Mm. They just timed it perfectly, but... Yeah, Chaos 2 did amazingly bad in this. Actually, it, it seems to be a thing, because in the second World Championship, they, they drive into the pit after trying to pit Mastiff. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a seems to be a thing with, with <laughs> Chaos 2, is like, apart from really the All-Stars, well, the, the Extreme All-Stars tournament, they don't really do well in side competitions. Maybe, maybe it's because maybe because George Franz is a bit more relaxed in a side competition, yeah. so maybe he just kind he of... Really t- care, yeah. it's a, it, it, maybe he just lets his guard down and doesn't take it for granted as much. Obviously, it doesn't matter as much, really... If you're losing the world championship, if you're losing the grand final, so I yeah. guess yeah, you know, I can understand that maybe. I mean, I mean, yeah. Chaos Two takes a. This isn't the worst beating that Chaos Two takes. No, it isn't. But it's pretty bad considering that this is what the this is air, this was air. This, they, this is probably why when this was filmed, they just came off winning the whole thing, the whole UK championship, and they lost to a robot that lost in the second round and previously yeah. after sticking themselves to the floor. Yeah. So yeah, but Chaos Two. I was going to say it did well here, but I can't even really say that. It just kind of survived the first round. Yeah. Most, uh, very surprisingly against Cass, uh, uh, Kilohertz. You'd think it would have beaten it, flipped over one go, but no. It actually lasted pretty well. Um, then we actually have the first robot we haven't talked about yet. Yes. Finally, the first really true foreign robot. Topoposaurus uh, Rex. Later on, it's yes. uh, Philippa. Not, I don't know if it was named after Philippa Forrest or just I named... Think, yeah. But actually, uh, Philippa was surprising. This team still good. making robots as well, aren't they? Yeah, actually, Philippa was actually decent because it beat Black Hole. Yeah. How the fuck did this thing beat Black Hole? And it Black took Hole? out Panzer. Yes. It, yeah, I always forget that. I mean, obviously, yeah. You know, I think in the end of the day, um, who went through in that battle? I forget. Was it Tornado? Yeah, but Tornado. Panzer were beating the shit out of Tornado in that fight. Honestly, I think the only reason they lost to Tornado because they just didn't have much pushing power to really get back at them. But yeah, they yeah. took out Panzer. Were dominating that battle until and Panzer, then. Panzer were a two-time champion. And Panzer were actually winning that battle. They were beating Tornado. Yeah. But um, yeah. the Poposaurus Rex is definitely the first robot because it's really slow. Its flipper doesn't really lift that high. At least self righted by being round. Yeah. But Philip is better. Let's face it. Yeah, Philip. It's a it's a slug. It's a croc. It's a, it's what happens when you cross a if you get a, if you cross a slug with a crocodile. Actually, one of the few Belgian teams as well. Yeah. I believe was um was Cobra Belgian or the Netherlands. I think I, Co- I think they were Belgian things. I think I saw the Belgian flag on the on their thing uh, correct me if I'm wrong because Belgium, Belgium and Netherlands are kind of similar with their accents and the way they sound so yeah. I'm not too sure about that particular area but it's like saying Austria and Germany I wouldn't know the differences off the bat so I'm just an ignorant foreigner yeah. so I'm gonna I call, don't know I'm going to call some bullshit on this wiki it says that the uh, the Poposaurus Rex can go 8 miles an hour but it's two, just two miles it an hour. can't it's like 2 miles an hour <laughs> it's, it's it's slower than Deator also this thing is 1.8 metres long Fuck me. Yeah, this thing's a long thing. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that long in the, in the picture or when you see it on TV, but fuck me, it's like a tire bench. Yeah. It's one of the longest robots ever to enter as well. Because longest robot was 11, I believe, was the longest. And then, 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 then the Baz and I think they're the top two longest robots. Yeah. But still, it's pretty up there. It's only like the top 10 at least. <laughs> it's huge. And also, I think if its lifter was more powerful, it could be quite decent. Yeah, it's just. But it's just a bit too slow. It's like it's like um, a General Carnage's lifter, just a bit too yeah. slow for its own good. But I, I like the team there. They seem pretty cool, guys. Um, plus also, what do you mean we haven't talked about this robot before? The Papasaurus Shrek was in the International Championship, which you have recorded before this. Ah, yes, of course. I, re- I record all of these in order. Yes. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've caught me out. You've caught me out here. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> totally didn't. To- yeah. No, no. What are you talking about? This is the last fi- podcast you're filming. Hold on. Hold on. Of uh, Series 3. Forget you heard that, folks. Forget you heard that. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I think the matter of that worked. Anyway, yes. um, actually, the robot they they got beaten by is the next one. Of course, it's a Diator or Diator. Diator, 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 whatever they're called. Um, and I said it might be returning in series ten slash eleven based off the pictures. Um, 
I I I can't wait to see how they redesign they redesign Dear at all because I want to yeah. see if they can do something different with it. It can't be worse than Series Six than Extreme Two Dear all, I mean, or Series Four Dear all, which unfortunately just got wrecked even more so than the Series Three Dear because they got yeah no weapon and no top armor. Um, they got they were overweight and they had to rebuild it when they get like, when they got there again. Why, why is it we're rebuilding this team as well? Like only the Series Five version works perfectly. God, I hope uh, they don't have to do that again. I well, no, I, I think I think they might have learned the lesson by now. Plus, also yeah. I think because they're a bit more famous, maybe they might yeah. get away with it. But in Series Three, I can understand. And the, it's great. I mean, the only reason why Dieter wasn't in Series Six was because I think their fear was classed as an entanglement device. I find that hilarious. It was, yeah, because yeah, because loads of robots got entangled by Dieter. Yeah, strangely, <laughs> but as this thing is like strangely after the tornado fight when they when one of the team members claimed that they're their uh, fur was jamming everything up. Suddenly, dear talk, and the fur was classed as an entanglement device. Only then, at one time. Yeah. Actually, that might be the reason why dear talk decided to enter in these newer series because the tangled weapon has sort of kind of been relaxed it's been a bit. Yeah. It's been relaxed slightly. So yeah. Also, there's a limit. There's a limit on the length of the uh, tangled device, but it doesn't say if it can be the body. Yeah. So if the robots less than a meter long, do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but as I said, not much to sort of dear talk apart from the fact the team are great, the robots great, particularly in yeah. this series. They and we, and we God hope we and we God hope they're back. Please, Peter Redman, please come back. We want to see you all. We want to see Doctor Zulu again. We want to see. I want to see Deator fight nuts. Oh, that would be Deator nuts, Miss Nightshade, and Jellyfish in the same battle. Yeah, was unfortunately since Jellyfish aren't going to be making it in series ten, but I still want to see that at some point in a live circuit. I don't care where. Those mm. four, and I bet you Miss Nightshade wins it because it's the best robot there. <laughs> Come on, Miss Nightshade. Yeah. Miss Night, well, that's, that's the reason why Miss Nightshade lost. They wanted, they didn't want to. Everyone went for it because it was the best robot. Yeah, exactly. They didn't want to show off the power too much. They're very humble. Those those women. Oh they yeah. Are. Um, but. Then, of course, we have from one robot that managed to make it to its heat final and did very well, to one robot that decided to drive into the pit, Kilohertz. Um, sporting... A robot that got ranked ser- got ranked 16, having never won a fight. Higher than Suicidal Tendencies, which actually got to their heat final. Actually, yeah. and higher than Invertebrate, who didn't even get a seeding. Yeah. Um, Kilohertz. Kilohertz. Now with more Charmander. Yeah, yeah. Charmander is a plus. I mean, I love I love Pokemon, so Charmander. And honestly, I think this is this Kilohertz different to the one that was in that was in its heat because it looks different. The front of it looks different. They might have had a different front panel, maybe, but I think it's most of the same. They put Kilohertz on the sides of it. Yeah, that might be the new thing, maybe for the yeah. thing. But also, maybe they just didn't have time to put it on in the in the main series. But also, sporting the two check flags. Yeah. Is it, is it the, because the is it, huge it, check flags? Like in some angles, you can't see them because they're so high up. I forget. Why is it the Czech Republic again? Uh, isn't it because of? Um, I think one of them was one uh, of them's got a Czech background. Think, is it Dominic Parkinson? It might I be. I, I don't think it's John. Yeah. I think it might be Dominic. Yeah, is, is, he. It, it, it was Dominic who stayed on to like terrorists and do the uh, weapons operation, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Wait for a good yeah. hit. Wait for a good hit. Um, Will he wait? Will he wait? He waited. No. In fairness, though, he got some good hits in this series. A nice oh, yeah. hit on Cerberus and a nice hit, especially a, a, a very good hit on Chaos 2, let's face it. It yeah. took, took the weapon out almost. But yeah, this version of Chaos... It, actually, I think this is the best version of Kilohertz. Because it is, this, yeah. this, this is the one that went to America and did decent well in America as well. And won the best driving award in America. Whilst the Series 4 version just didn't do as well. And the Series 2 version was so unreliable it kept crashing into wall games took him forward drive. So it wasn't, yeah. It was also, this one has the first. This one's the one, first one to use the bird head axe. Yeah. Which is the best one of my, the best axe in the robot wars. I wonder if they have a version of that for, for Terra Hertz. Um, I hope. I'd like to see him bring it back. Cause I, I, don't, I, I like the Terra Hertz axe, but I really wish it had some more. I guess they've just more done more damage in the end of the day, the Terra Hertz yeah. axe. But it doesn't have as much class to it as the uh, Killer Hertz axe from Series 3 and 4. Um, it's not. My favorite axe is still the Excalibur axe. But this one's definitely yeah. up there. It's definitely the most stylish axe, I'd say, out of all the axes I've seen. Um, and then a robot that actually com- actually we never two- saw the f- we never saw fight. Who oddly actually got beaten by uh, kilohertz in BattleBots. I think it was two point I think it was yeah. um, the Mauler. Um, the one of the most popular and recognizable teams from uh, America, particularly in this day and age. Well, their their day, not nowadays, but more so back in their day, particularly. This is the very kind of rusty looking Mauler. <laughs> This Before looks it. like something coming out of a scrapyard. It pretty much does, and it has hypno disc on its top, on the top. <laughs> it does actually, yeah. And uh, you gotta love the team. Actually, one thing I find funny about the whole team is that they've all got these kind of like funny nicknames, except one of them. Like, if you look yeah. on the wiki, it's got Supreme Commander Charles Tilford, General Ma- General Morgan Tilford, General Henry Tilford, and, and Alan and Alan Vermette. Just, <laughs> 
I, 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 he got screwed, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you, saw, you have all those names, and then you just hear in the background. And Alan. It's, uh, I was going to say his country's called Alan, but honestly, Henry's not a striking fear name either. No. In Charles, I think Morgan's the better, most threatening name on that team. Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, like Captain yeah. Morgan, the the uh, rum. Or the cars. But. Oh, uh, I mean, again, we'll we'll talk more about Mauler when we actually get to its quote unquote confrontation. Fight. Yes, it's, it's fight. Massive air quotes to the point we can't see the word at all. It's not Cerberus, it fights. <laughs> no, it doesn't fight. Uh, yeah. It fights the producers. Yeah, it's true. But uh, well, I don't want to say too much about Mauler apart from the fact that. Honestly. I, I wish d- they could have fought. They were, I wish they could, we could have seen more of them. I don't really like Mauler that much. I've never really, really? been. No, I've never been impressed by Mauler. It just seems like a bit of a shit spinner. I don't know That's why. Like we never, we never really saw it in Robo no. War, so we didn't know what it did. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking about when I see it in Battlebots, when I watch it in Battlebots. I just never got impressed by Mauler when I saw it in Battlebots. Oh yeah, it was. It's, it's like... ridiculously unreliable. It keeps killing itself in Battlebots. I, I imagine if it if it was in this series, it would have just done the same thing. And just mm. not worked. I mean, because Cer- Cerberus is pretty durable. Maybe they actually saw um, some of the footage. You're like, oh fuck! You can't, you let can't this have th- that. No, you can't let this thing. It took off Killer Hertz's axe. Yeah. You can't see that. I think that's the only time I've ever seen it impressed by it when it took the axe off. That was it. Yeah. But um, maybe it got beaten by Series Four Bigger Brother. So that's quite an embarrassment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's like that's like getting beaten by Series Six Panic Attack. You've lost. You wasted yeah. your life. Speaking of embarrassments, not really. Mortis, <laughs> uh, Mortis, the team that managed to spend so, or try and spend so much money and don't actually get any rewards out of it. Um, the, only, the, cr- the only fight they win in this is against a robot that doesn't fucking work. At least they win the the uh, War Independence next series. Yeah, I thought like that's their only highlight. I think in the entire the entire run of Robot Wars, that's thing they've ever actually had taken taken home a trophy with. Um, Mortis that never works that never works and again they built like Jonathan was saying Mortis was one of the favourites for this how? <laughs> just why is it just because they like they looked impressive in series 1 and 2 that suddenly they're just now the favourites and they've proven in the main series they're unreliable yeah but and it was proven just the same in this series as well the shit painted the shit colour of Mortis literally yeah. is the colour of shit I don't like this series of Mortis I like the series 4 version more because sort of, it's yeah, the black, it's black the bl- and it looks like a stealth bomber in a way. But why, why, why shit brown? But... I, mean, I, I mean, I thought I didn't like the series two versions color scheme with just the grey. But yeah, I, like, I mean, the series one and four versions. Are the, I think the series one version is the best one. Mm. Oh, Honestly, it sounds it, amazing when it also, drives. It was the only version that the tracks didn't break at any point either, yeah. right? or mechanically it didn't fail. I think the axe broke, but it managed to. Still, it, the robot itself still kept working. While well, every other version, at some point, a weapon's broken and ru- ruins it, or it's tracked falling off, or something crap's happened to it. Well, this is the classic case of money does not mean victory. No, that's that, that's rapid. Rapid is the. Mm. I think rapid is a better example because they they. Rapid's made it... the new. Rapid's the new mortis. Well, no, for two two mortises credit though. The injuries that they suffered were quite fixable. Yeah. Rapid was so terribly over-engineered that they couldn't actually fix it. That that's a yeah. bad sign. That's a bad sign for a robot. Um, Actually, yeah. If we want to say who the new mortis is, you could technically say it was Pulsar, honestly. Hmm. And then we have Panic Attack, the uh, former reigning champions, because honestly they didn't manage to. Uh, they got lost to Firestorm, but yeah. they come back and they drive in the pit. So that's something. That is something. Yeah. The one hundred and one curse. It continues. Do, 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 do. Are they like the only robot that's there for whales? Like representing. I mean, obviously, yeah. obviously, 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 if they do it in the newer series, Apollo is pretty much going to be that. Their and they, yeah, I think they're the only robot to ever represent. Well, actually, yeah, to ever represent Wales in a world championship. It's probably because there's no other really good Welsh robots around this area around this time. Yeah. I mean, who else is there? Evil Weevil. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no Apollo. I mean, yet. if it was nowadays, it would be Apollo. Uh, yeah. It would be Apollo. Yeah, Apollo is the only really good Welsh robot nowadays. But mm. I think is there any other Welsh robots, or I think it's just them. I think it is just them. Actually, oh no, I was going to say PP3D, but they're from Scotland. Yeah, yeah I, was like, oh, I forgot. Actually, they'd be the Scottish representatives. Actually, they they, they were taken over from uh, all talk and all that kind of. Oh stuff. no, no, no! It's got it's got to be um, it's got to be worm. <laughs> well, they're not. The thing is, they're not competing in series ten. So if they did you do a three D, I know. But um, out if, if, if as a joke, I'd love to see PPD enter. But honestly, end of the day, 
Worms got yeah. the By the way, any Robot Wars team in Series 10 is watching. One of you has to say, if you've got a spinner, one of you has to say she's up to speed now because that because PP Feed is not going to be in it. One of you's got to say it. It's got to take up the helm. But it's yeah. got to be said once a series. It does have to. It's a running th- meme at this point. But uh, Carl yeah. if you're listening, you've got to say it. <laughs> yeah, Panic Attack is the only Welsh representative, and what are you going to do? Um. Now, uh, Prometheus is. I'm just. I'm just going to say this right. I. I'm going to apologise to Binky, Sergeant Meekle, Abaddon, Ton to Run. This is the worst robot in Series Three. Right. Really? This is the worst robot. Mainly because of one particular reason. It's a small. <laughs> it's, it's a small problem. I'll. I'll, I'll go say it. It can't go backwards. Yeah. It Why? Can't. Why can't it go backwards? I don't get this. Like, because it has a petrol. A, I think it's a bike two-stroke engine on it, and bike those engines can't go in reverse. They're a, they're like it's like a moped engine. A moped engine can't go in reverse. Right. This would be also passable if the guy could drive the thing, but he can't. It just. How, how can you drive a combat robot that doesn't go in reverse? It's true, and it just rams into the wall constantly. Like there's that one bit, it just starts humping the wall against Weldor. There's one part where they just decide, oh, let's just go over to kill her. Almost goes into the pit at one point because he yeah. runs in, and then it shits nuts and bolts and dies. Like the best part of the battle was that one bit where it was just you hear the you hear the petrol engine you know blasting, yeah. and then it just there's silence. Because it goes. I thought the I thought the best moment was when it fights it when it, when Well lifts it up and it just it turn, they they turn it on forward so Well just just spinning around. Oh, that was that was funny. Like Well getting pulled yeah. away from them. Also, why is yeah. the back panel so flappy? Like, what's the point? Like, it seems a bit weird. I have no idea. This this whole robot's a mess. It really this is. This robot, like, really, I don't. I know there's stuff with the BattleBots contract, but really, America, this is your this is who you send. Yeah, it's like in series. It's like in series four, where like you know, okay, um, frenzy. I'll pass that. Ramstein. That's okay. That's good. That's fine. Ghetto bot and Mangulator. Mangulator, I believe, was one of the was uh, was a robot built by the people who did Blade Runner or Gold ah, Digger, one of those but, ones, because it looks exactly like it. Fair enough. But then Ghetto bot, really? It's so. <laughs> It's probably one of the worst robots ever to compete in any kind of foreign event yeah. based event. It's not as bad as something like Bondi Titch or something, which was built by the Brit- British team. It was a competition winner. Somehow. Somehow. Not against Fire Storm. Hey, though. kid, you win, you win a competition. That means you get to drive a robot in Robot Wars. Really? Is it a good one? No! And also, you got lo- you, you get flipped over the arena by Firestorm. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Prome- How is Prometheus a thing? Also, it's funny because it's it's sad how the series two Prometheus is better than this one. Yeah, and that was a robot that couldn't go up a this ramp. Robot, it it can't go in reverse and it kills itself. True, and also had a, it had a hardened steel blade to get rid of because it had a sword yeah. blade and they got rid of it. Hmm, I wonder why that went. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah. Then uh, to go from a piece of shit to actually a robot that actually can do something for some reason, not in the main competition but in any side event for some reason, it's Razor, yeah. because obviously they, it's like the opposite of Beta of Chaos Two. They don't do well in the main series, but they do really well in side events. Yeah. Um, they won the International what, League. Oh, yeah. Won the International they win, League. They win quite a lot of shit, apart from the main title for a long time. They were good international champions. They won They won, yeah. They won. won all three, didn't they? Yeah, they won the International League. They won a World Championship. They Well, they won, they won the World Championship twice. Yeah. And the, they won the Annihilator. Yeah, because they won the Southern Annihilator, and they also won, beat Drill Zither in the second one. Yeah, and, um, they, won the, and they won the Pinball. Yep. Yeah. Everything but the main competition for a while. Mm-hmm. It's like and, gonna... and the All Stars. Hey now. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> Ra- Razor. I mean, thankfully, for some reason, the robot seems to know when it's not in a serious competition and decides to work. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I kind of wish though they had worn the same outfits they wore on the pinball. <laughs> Joe, that would been that would have been just made my day if they'd done that. You've been beaten by a team dressed like this. Yeah, I would, that would make it even more humiliating. Yeah. <laughs> but... What can you say about Razor? Just a crusher that didn't really do well until series five. Yeah, yeah, and this this is the only reason it's seen. It's them. only when the, it's it's really when they it's only when they tried to break Razor is when it works. This is the, they said in series five, we don't care this year, we just want to try and break the robot. This is the only reason why they came seed number three in series four. Yeah, because this is the only because they won the international league and the world championship, which I think is a bit too high, in my opinion. 
higher than a, a, a Actually, former I would say champion. five. I would probably give it five. Yeah, they shouldn't have gone higher than a former reigning champion, honestly. Yeah. But whatever. Um, then we have a box called Techno Lease. It is just the box. It's just a box with a random saw that sticks out of it, which you never see, which a, hits the a tail hits, box, yeah. Yeah, which hits the arena wall, and it lasts about two seconds. And this, right? You wouldn't believe this. I mean, un- only unless you watch the Dutch Robot Wars series, the the both the first series at least. Anyway, this is the winner of the first Dutch series. It was later on, obviously in a different form, called Slicer. Which the, is a beast of a machine. And also, fun fact, the only um, series winner not to return for a series. Uh, also, And also the only tracked robot to win a main competition. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a really, really good robot. They failed to qualify for Series 7 for some reason. It might be like a case of um, Sabretooth where it was too powerful, or maybe they just lost unluckily or something. Because a few good robots didn't manage to get to Series 6 or 7. Yeah, or just tried to get to seri- in Series 7. Yeah, without tracks for some reason. Uh, I think that's what Simon Harrison told me. It was something like that. Apparently they didn't nick it in, but they actually, um, what they, uh, this is really, this is such, I think it was, I think it was Arthur Chilcott, um, mm. they, when they realised they weren't going to get in, he actually let out his house to some of the, like, foreign, like, some of the Dutch people who didn't have, like, houses necessarily to stay in for the filming. Yeah. He had, like, oh, a, little, he had, he had a little campsite in his house, almost. That's kind of awesome. I think it was, like, in his garden as well, just, like, just anywhere in the near area. He's like, oh, come on. Well, I'll house you for a bit. I think that's I think that's what Simon told me. If that's true, I think it was yeah. true. But that's pretty cool. But Slicer, yeah. I mean, just looking at a picture of Slicer, it's weird looking at it and then looking at Technolease. Technolease yeah. is just this shit box and this nice wedge with nice tracks and like holy shit, a fucking drum on the front. Yeah. And then uh, and then Technolease just uh, it did have two. It's a box. It's a it, box with spikes and a tail, and it is an epitome of a box. The only fight it actually ever quote unquote sort of one was against Prometheus in the International League. And that's because they both broke down. Yeah. Yeah. Prometheus shook itself to death. And it was because of that fight. Irreparably. Pr- yeah. Which also makes you really, makes you believe, obviously, that Prometheus fought in that battle first, then fought the International League. Mm. Because, obviously, they couldn't have been irreparable at that point. Well, oddly enough, when Prometheus lost, they didn't get a replacement robot. Unlike yeah. uh, Terra. I don't get that. Maybe, I don't know. They could have given him more. <laughs> Well, we've spoken about, we've spoken as, as as much of about Techno Lease as it actually was in this World Championship. But... Pretty much. Also, I don't know Ter- what. Also, I don't know why, but the one the team he, he's not he's not part of the Slicer team later. But I just love his name, Franz for Planker. Mm. He invented planking, folks. Blame him. <laughs> um, and then from a shitty box to a s- s- even shittier box-like robot with massive that, dumbbell wheels. That never worked. Terra Australis, which is probably one of the worst. Right, here's what here's about Terra Australis, right? Even their flag is shit. Yeah. Like, there's no white on the Union Jack. It's just blue with a white, with a red cross. You can barely see the stars on it. This and, is... Yeah. And also, the actual robot, right? How far does that disc t- t- touch out of the robot? It's like, it's like Limpet's disc. It's just... it's Yeah. Also, it's so high up as well. And Seriously, what is Terra Australis? Like, and <laughs> it, 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 what is it? Also, fun fact, is the first robot to have googly eyes on it. Yeah, really? I thought... Oh, yeah, Nemesis. That Was Nemesis that? Would you not say Nemesis with googly they, they, eyes? Well, they weren't googly. They didn't, the eyes didn't move. They actually do move on Terra Australis. Uh, yeah, Terra Australis. But also, isn't it all the wheels dumbbells? That's what they look like. They look like dumbbells on just taking out the gym and decided to put them on the robot they instead. They look to me like a rim of an actual car wheel, but they put that's what they look like, the actual yeah. rim part. I mean, this robot lasted about a total of two seconds because it didn't move at all. And this, yeah. this robot made a lot of noise. The weapon worked, but the robot didn't. Yeah, it's... it's oh, God. It's like... yeah, it, This appears in the International League and in the World Championship, and it never moves. Ah, oh, what a fucking disaster. Well, technically, this they're robot's te- so te- te- bad, they are given Nemesis. Wow, that's a... That's a uh... And it's an upgrade. Sadly enough, it is. Uh, and the last robot, um, the only robot to represent Northern Ireland in the, uh, these kind of series, uh, Weldor. The yes. uh, robot that is not Centurion. It actually Best is... version of Weldor as well. Yeah, because the only one actually fucking worked, that's why. I mean, the, the Series 4 version was okay, but it looked a bit dull, and then they got beaten by something. And in Series 6, was it 6? I can't remember. Was six, it, yeah, uh, so... Were they in 7? They were, also, no, they, were in... They, were, they were in the Commonwealth one, I know, that got yeah. beaten by Firestorm as well. Now, they're, they're, they're... Actually, the, I like the Series... Uh, the camera, They went back to the camouflage, which I approved of. Yeah. But then they had the stupid bar at the back, they didn't do anything, and the flipper didn't And the flipper... And in, and in the Series 6, they, they're, having a, they're clearly having a vent problem, because they just, as soon as activate... 
uh, I've activate started, it just started spewing CO2 gas. It's like, it's like Big Brother, Bigger Brother in Series 4. Yeah, just that's exactly what it was. Yeah, exactly. And I like this version of World Door a lot, but and also, also until Jellyfish, they're the only team from Northern Ireland to compete in the main series. Yes. So there's one for you. Also, I love the name Film. I don't know why. It, it just reminds me of Father Ted and they say they're going to, they're going to the film. They're going to Film. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we talk about Weldor quite a lot, and uh, the woman Helen Harrison again, but it's just it's a decent robot. It's decent, yeah. It's it's prongs broke a lot though. <laughs> they bent yeah. a lot. I mean, you can actually can tell they've actually tried to like bang them back together again. They, they, they kind slightly of stri- tried to strengthen them with a bar in the middle. Didn't really, didn't didn't do too much really. It did a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. You can still see the one of the forks is slightly bent in the picture. Yeah. Where they didn't manage to fix it in time. Plus, also to kill that went right through their armor. <laughs> exactly. He just like was like. Actually, like, speaking of the wiki, I just want to quickly go back to something. Terra Australis it has on its notes a pressure of a thousand psi. Of what? Pressure of what? I don't know. What's its pressure of? Crusher. The the, pre- the pressure of the the pressure of its disappointment. Is it the pressure of all the fans from Australia? All two of them come to watch them. Yeah. In the in the Australia's debut in Robot Wars, and you get that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, back to well though. Actually, now there's a ton of battles. Most of the first yes. round battles aren't eventful, thankfully, so they actually are quite quick. The first one was, I'll be honest with you, they could have started with a more interesting battle. Yeah. Uh, Topoposaurus versus Philippa. Yeah, Topoposaurus Rex. Mm. It was of two slow robots nudging each other for a while. Um, the only highlight, was only two highlights, was um, Deator almost pushing Topoposaurus Rex into the pit. And Deator managed to get flip over the Popsaurus Rex a few a couple of times. And itself, right, did a little kind of roly poly, and also never yeah. set on uh, Deator set on fire because it has to. Yes. Um, at the end of the Where day, there's the... smoke. There must be fire, and there must be Deator. In fairness, though, I think it was the right decision because yeah. they, they were more aggressive. They got more flips. They actually almost pushed from the pit. Yeah. The Popsaurus Rex just lifted them a slightly bit and pushed them a tiny bit, but didn't really do much. So. Not the yeah. best. Not not the most exciting battle to start off with. I would have started with like Razor maybe a smart, but. But, uh, yeah. Whatever. I mean, yeah, they, they deserve the win at least. Um, next, we have Prometheus versus Weldor, which I'm going to describe yeah. as Prometheus fucking about for about half the battle in forward drive, yeah. running into the kill lot, running into the wall, running into Shunt, running into everything but Weldor most of the time. And then it stalls, and it stalls on top of Shunt, and I think they kill Shunt. Yeah, they think yeah, because Shunt didn't move after that. I think it must have hit so, like, the aerial or something. That's, like that. that's something. The Papa saw it, not Prometheus. It's so shit, it killed Shun. Actually, if you look at the picture on the wiki of the picture mm. where Prometheus is stuck on Shun, Weldor's sort of stood there like, I can't believe this actually happened. Yeah. It looks kind of no, shocked. It's a, uh, it, it looks like he's just looking at it like, uh, now what do I do? Yeah, I've won, but why? <laughs> and I, just, I love the bit where Weldor lifts it, and then as you mentioned before, Prometheus kind of spins it right round, and then yeah. the bolts start flying out of it. I don't even know why the where the bolts came from because it wasn't like Weldor was really it only had the like, edge of the robot. It was like the robot it was that badly built they it managed to spin yeah. itself into control. And gotta also, say, pr- yeah, and no but, bottom panel, no bottom panel. That's, no. Uh, but I gotta say, Prometheus is a very American kind of robot. It's like ah, let's just put a big engine in it. That'll do. Yeah, that was the worst American impression. <laughs> that was more Australian actually. Yeah. Actually, I, actually it, sounded, it sounded like a little like a little bit of West Country as well. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was trying to do. All oh, right, anyway. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it wasn't. It was a bit of a non-battle, really. This one. Yeah. I mean, I mean actually, I do, was, there, there, there is that one good it, shot though on the wiki of Prometheus almost going into the pit, like just sliding over yeah. it. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a more noise than action. Yeah. Kind of yeah, it was. That's pretty much what it was. And then eventually, when the noise died, the robot went. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and then next we have uh, probably one of the better battles of the first round: All Talk versus Razor. Yeah. Actually, All Talk took a. A very good go at this. It's just yeah. unfor- it was just unfortunate that Razor was the perfect. It was the perfect shape for Razor to grab hold of. Yeah, and this was really where the Razor tactic kind of started of yeah, the, crushing the, it and never really letting it go. This was the only way that it would beat Tornado. In face it was a very. It's very similar to Tornado, isn't it? Yeah. How it would always manage to grab Tornado, and Tornado would never be able to do anything about it because it always goes into the wheel guards or right into the top bar- panel yeah. and stuff. And it ends up pretty much the same way. And then. Um, Unfortunately, because All Talk's known for its reliability and its motors to begin with, it ended up breaking and burning a bit, and then Hamish set on fire. Yeah. Which is kind of like a, it's like a, you know, I can imagine like really sad, um, really sad, um, uh, bagpipe music playing. Oh yeah. Actually, it's, 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 Amazing it's, Grace and bagpipes. Yeah, but it's like Star Wars, Star Trek. <laughs> sorry, Star, yeah, like Star Trek. Yeah. 
Robot Wars 3, the, spe- the search for Hamish. It's like just like slowly saluting, and there's one one yeah. tier, one tier for Hamish. F, yeah. Press press F for Hamish. <laughs> but either way, yeah, Razor kind of easy, it was an easy fight for Razor. There was no real. Uh, it's, it's 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 what always happens when uh, well, it's all it's what always happens when the English fight the Scottish. The yeah. Scottish get their ass kicked. Yeah, don't say that. They'll they'll start. They'll send another referendum on us. I'm going up there tomorrow. Well, good luck then. <laughs> let's 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 hope they don't know who you are. Yeah. Thank goodness! Thank goodness that Gary isn't in series ten with PB three D. Or as you get, yeah. you you get it. <laughs> thank goodness you're not uploading this for quite a while. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> um, and then I'm not even going to bother calling Mortis versus Terrorstrikes a battle because they didn't move. I have a. Fi- I honestly, I gotta say, I have a theory about this fight, which is in the international league there is a Ashes special one-off fight between mm. Terrorstrikes, which was Nemesis and Mortis. Which is the exact same fight that we have here, the exact same matches, matchup of Terror Australis versus Mortis. So I honestly have the theory that Terror Australis didn't move in this fight, so they put in Australia. They, they put uh, they put in Terror Australis. Oh god damn it! They put in Nemesis Terror Australis in, hmm. and then did that as the world championship fight. But then for some reason decided that that fight would that that this fight would be better for the world championship or something. I don't know. They really, should, they really should have called it Nem- Nemesis Australis, shouldn't they? Yeah. They really should have Nemesis missed Australis, or yeah. I, 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 Nem- Nemesis, Austra- ne- Nemesis Australis. Yeah. I'll mention the two names, but yeah, Mortis just axed it a bit, drove it into the arena, and that was yeah. it. Also, Terra that... Australis is as menacing as a koala bear. Also, uh, Terra Australis had a bit of Deatol first, so your theory might be confirmed. Yeah. I don't know. But then everyone had it. Um. <laughs> Yeah, dear God. Also, now another non-battle really was uh, Bayamoth against Technolise. Actually, very similar to its battle against. This is this also has the short. This is literally one paragraph. This is four lines in the wiki. Yeah, and also it's very similar to how both are Bayamoth's battles in series um, series three. General Carnage up and over. Shark attack up and over. Here up and over. I'll, I'll... Literally, it's, just... it's the roadblock form of straight in and straight out. Yeah, but even more straightforward because Bayamoth's just so powerful at its lifter. I love yeah. that. It seemed the house robots didn't really go for it though, because it would be funny to attack Technolies. Yeah. But... Oh no! It, it had a, it had a beating to come. It had a oh, beating to come. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. But because uh, this was this was clearly filmed before the international fee. <clears throat> yeah. Don't, don't don't give away the process again. Yeah. Um, then we obviously have Panic Attack against One Hundred One. In Panic Attack's clear showing of how great the driving is in Series Three, it drives into the pit. Or, yeah. maybe, or is it a completely co- dominating this fight? Somehow, actually managing to lift one on one completely up in the air, like yeah. the picture of the wiki is so weird because that, that, that's not how physics works. Also, type F also for the loss of panic attacks. Um, most important um, little light on top of yeah. it because what well, actually that was quite a funny moment when one on one actually took the, the the light off with its tracks, just ripped it off. Uh, that's that that completely inhibited its mobility. That's why one panic attack drove into the pit. It committed suicide because like it, yeah. it, it didn't want to live that life without its light any longer. Yeah, be like a bit like Oblivion in series two. Can't live that yeah. light. But, the, but yeah, the one on one curse strikes again. Yeah, it was a pretty funny moment though. I got oh, on yeah. it. It was pr- yeah. <laughs> what attack. were you thinking, Kim? Honestly, you done. You drove backwards. You, you done, done. You done goofed. You, you done goofed. Yeah. Um, then probably I think the best battle of the first round was Chaos Two versus Kilohertz. Yeah. This. Almost took out uh, Killerts. Almost took out Chaos Two by puncturing their CO two canister. Um, Killerhertz Kill- nearly took out the just crown champion of all robots as well. Killerhertz, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe Razor can understand, but Killerhertz and, and Killerhertz then... yet again did not start when activate was called. Oh yeah, it took a while to start, didn't it? And then its axe sometimes yeah. didn't work, and it eventually worked at the right moment. And then shunt got into the action as well. Like, at one point, both axes were stuck inside them. That's probably one of Shunt's best hits. It was, wasn't it? Right in the gas canister. It's not yeah. as good, it's not as, good as um, um, Panic Attack in Series 2 or Atlas, but it's definitely in those precision yeah. hits he had. I mean, earlier series, he was on a roll, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, like, um, it's not, like as in... I mean, it's one of his best hits is, like, how effective it was. Like, it, like also, when it hit when, with Hypnodisc. Like, Shunt yeah. is... Pretty good at this. <laughs> it was his biggest immobilizing hit of the series, anyway. Yeah. Obviously, I think his his other one was in series nine with against Draven. How they took him out yeah. with that one axe. But all those people who did a lot of work and then Draven gets hit by Shunt, and that's, yeah. what, kills, and that's what kills it. 
No, but yeah, not... this is Shun, one of Shun's best hits. I mean, and then that's quite a pretty good, pretty good moment. You just see the the axe come down, and then gas just flies everywhere. And in its dying breath, it flips over Kilohertz. The very last flip it probably had. And, and Kilohertz's axe is Kilohertz's axe is down, which it, it can it can self right when the axe is up. Not when it's down. Not when it's down. Yeah, I think that's the whole reason Trident lost against Chaos too, because they couldn't self right with their other axe. Mm. Clearly, clearly, that's the reason why they lost. But yeah, unfortunately, the Charizard almost fell off them as well. Yeah, uh, I would, what the Charizard should have been over the flame pit, then it could have evolved into Charizard. Well, actually, no, it had to be Charmeleon first. But anyway, you, you don't know your you don't know your Pokemon. Yes, I do. Yeah, Charizard evolves from Charmander. Huh? No, huh. I, I didn't huh. say that. You, you misquote. You misquote me, sir. <laughs> Ah, and uh, this honor shall not this dishonor shall not go unabated. Well, I thought we shall meet the dawn with pistols. You haven't got a glove to slap him with to call a duel, so it's not going to work. Um, <laughs> there's got to be a duel emoji on Skype. Duel emojis, oh god. <laughs> uh, oh Jesus! And then finally, again, actually, if you call Terror Strands against Mortis, not a battle. This is nowhere near. That's like a different this galaxy. This isn't a battle. Because it never happened. No, it's a different galaxy entirely. At least, at least in Terra Strata, it's Mortis Mortal Battle. versus the producers. Mortal versus producers, because 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 Cerberus didn't have to do anything. Right. Mm. I think the whole reason it wasn't because they were worried about Mortal's safety. I think it's because their sh- arena was so shit it couldn't handle Mortal. Yeah. Not because Mortal was yeah. too dangerous. It's yeah. because Mortal is like 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 Hypnodisc. They didn't have any clue what would happen. Mortal. You look at that thing and you think, "Oh shit!" Yeah, but here's the thing: like, Hypnodisc was allowed in. Mm-hmm. That's the thing I don't get. Like Hypnodisc was allowed in, but Mauler, pfft, no, no. They don't have the right certificate for the welding. Oh, yeah, I'm sure because I'm sure every robot here had every single part of their robot complete. I mean, look at Tun to Run. I'm sure they had. A yeah. ma- I'm sure they had loads of. I'm sure the them. Iron Mask had the certificate for their welding. Well, they didn't. Imagine cardboard is very easy to copy and paste together. It's fine. Oh yeah. But uh, the Mauler, nah, nah, it's too much. Yeah, I mean, look at imagine, look at imagine all the paperwork that Binky has. Also, yeah. Also, by far, I think the only time this is ever written on the wiki, winner by default in brackets, Cerberus. Has there been yeah. any other robot that's won by default as opposed to actually winning properly? No. Well, no, Razor won, Razor won in by default against Prometheus in the International League. Ah, yes, of course. Okay, this Charles. Of course, I haven't, because I've, I've clearly filmed that before this. Yeah. Um, but you want to forget this International League. That's why you don't remember it. I, I, I'm genuinely not looking forward to doing that one. That's like, I thought Heat C was bad, but the International League is just so pants. It's just so shit. I, 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 I did, my two cents is really this is what you're gonna... This is what you want to use as the pilot to sell to other countries. Yeah, it's just why. Uh, and then we go to, we get to go to the next round then, so we have our, we have our eight finalists. Normally it's like four, but now we've got eight for the next round. Yep, and then the quarterfinals. And the fresh Cerberus that's never actually fought anything yet. It goes against Deator and it gets flipped over. Deator doesn't have any fur on the back because I think, I think they ran out of fur. They must have. I mean, they've gone for a lot of battles yeah. uh, at this point. And actually, to the credit, that was a great flip. Oh yeah, like that's the thing is, Deator's flipper is pretty powerful. It's it, just unreliable. It's why I preferred it in Series Five when it had a bigger blade on it to actually flip things. When Series What Three, it was just a, it was a tiny little bit of metal. It yeah. was really thin, but it was more of a good wedge than it was a good flipper. Mm-hmm. But Cerberus goes flying like twice. I almost flipped over once and flipped over again. Yeah. And also, I like the Cerberus tried to bring their tail into play. Like it really, <laughs> it really helped. The t- oh yeah. <laughs> Such power. Grapple. Such powerful, very wow. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that's a pretty. De- that's the thing is like, yeah, that's everyone says like Deator. You don't, you never should underestimate Deator. Yeah, <laughs> never, never. It's it's one of the robots you like. Um, tornado found out. Yeah, um, we, we all adore Deator, but it can actually fight. It can, and it's got fur. And, so, and eyes. So and watch smile. out! So watch out for series ten or or eleven or whatever. Please. Oh, future champion Deator. Yeah, if, imagine if they beat Carbide. I would, I would genuinely. I don't know what I'd do at that point. I think I might just like marry. Yeah. marry. I would honestly love it. I would, yeah. I mean, imagine if they got through to the grand final. I love that. I I love to see Deator actually win a heat. Honestly, yeah. especially in this kind of harder format. They've uh, they're one of the robots that have earned it. They, oh, they have by this point, along with Smidzy as well. Yeah. But um, the next battle was probably one of the best battles of the entire thing. Chaos Two versus Razor. This was 
Two. It's a pretty quick battle as well, but it's a it's one of those short and sweet ones. Also, Razor got to prove their self right mechanism doesn't stick them into the ground. Yeah. And also, actually, the one of the Sam more savage hits was probably obviously the naturally was when Razor really slammed Chaos Two into the wall and punctured the yeah. gas canister again. But also, um, Dead Metal soaring into the front looked really painful. Oh yeah, like that's that that that's the thing is like that's just kind of like a that's kind of. That would be a symbol of like uh, Chaos Two losing their championship. Is dead was the Chaos Two logo being cut in half? Yeah, and then obviously they just drove into the pit to save save face, yeah. pretty much. Basically, yeah, it was like we've taken too much damage. We need to. Just we can't take any more. This is un- too un- expensive. Unlike Killer Hurts, they actually meant to commit suicide. Yeah. So el- 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 well, the funny about the Killer Hurts, they went straight from dead metal into the pit. Like as soon as they, yeah. soon as, as soon as they let go, like. Bye. <laughs> they were being sandwiched because they had dead metal in the fr- in the front and razor in the back. Pretty much, it was really. a chaos two spit roast. And believe me, that's not the position you want to be in. Yeah. Between razor and dead metal, that sounds like a horrible combination. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah. So razor pretty much won that one outright. Yeah. Uh, then another. That was a win that they gen- because they when they came back into the pits they were being applauded because uh, it was pretty probably because chaos two just um chaos two just probably won their championship and they looked invincible in the in the UK championship and Razor came along and just Yeah, just, pretty much destroyed like them. that, just dethroned the champion. Unlike Carbide, who pretty much yeah. worked perfectly in Series Nine. Here was like, mm. well and then the second of the uh, of, of many in this on this of in later battles of the England versus England battles. Uh, yeah. Mortis versus Bayamoth was A very quick fight. Yeah, Mortis Honestly, I don't think Mortis was ever going to win this because they almost got the bear flipper. They got lower ground clearance. Yeah. Mortis is unreliable. Actually, to the credit, Mortis didn't actually break down. It was just a case of paying off, getting them stuck on the like right in the right place, and yeah, then pushing them towards them the pit. And push them in the pit. It was quite comedic though the way they got pushed all the way across the arena. Like, did Mortis like move like two feet in front of itself? Yeah. Mortis had two. Yeah, pretty much. Mortis had really two. There were two really quick fights. Mortis had. Yeah, and unfortunately in this case, it was Mortis's uh, time to lose. Yeah. And yeah, Behemoth just proved how quickly it can take out a robot when it needs to. Well, that's what Morris is. Uh, that's what Behemoth has always been good at. Is mm. it? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have um, the last one of the of this next round: Weldor versus One Hundred One. And this at- is one of the best recoveries. Oh, that. In this fight. How did Weldor not fall in the pit? I really don't know. Like it's, it was. It's up there with Chaos Two and Wild Things. Oh, that. that- that was probably yeah. the best one, in my, cause that almost because the the fireworks went off as well. Yeah, and they're still doing it. But this one, I don't even know how. Yeah, I don't know what Weldor did, but it somehow managed to survive. And it was actually, I think, this is the one of the few judges' decisions of this entire one, along with the um, yeah. Deotor's first battle and the heat final. But yeah, this one was. Oh, I think it was one one as well. Is other battle and but, uh, Deotor versus Be- Behemoth was a. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a few, but there's not too many that kind of. Get, uh, this one was quite close, but yeah. It, I think well, one on one was definitely the better robot. Yeah, it, it, Weldor got it. It was it was a very two and fro kind of match because there were moments where Weldor were on top, but overall, one on one was the better robot. Plus, Weldor was sort of dying by the end of this battle. Yeah, and I mean, also the forks well, were bent in. Yeah, the forks bent. Uh, the bar didn't help at all. Yeah, it did not help one bit. And they, they have a the axe, which isn't very good. Actually, I do like a Jonathan Pierce quote though. That hammer's weapon is a bit ineffective. It's a bit like a petal on a flower, strong and menacing as a rose petal. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much sums up most axes in series yeah. three. Let's face it. Amazing that they got it. They managed to fix it after uh, after kill up cut it off in the. Um, that was that was more in, amazing in, to me. Unless they had like yeah. loads of spare axes. <laughs> Someone bringing spares to Robot Wars? No, 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 nobody does that. Yeah. <laughs> so now we are down to the final t- final four. Final so, four, yeah, final four. Uh, just, almost like, almost like the Apprentice, almost with the final five, and then Bayamoth versus Dead. Uh, speaking, speaking of speaking of uh, the Apprentice, and you're fired. Deator catches fire. Oh, I see what we did there. I see what we did there. <laughs> Actually, I do like this. I'm uh, funny. I mean, this whole battle was just Bayamoth toying with Deator. Yeah, it just kept flipping it back over and back over again and back over and back over Although, again. Although. Uh, Bearmoth started to die at the end of the match. It did. It got a bit too cocky, I think, Bearmoth. I think they should have just ended... getting cocky now. <laughs> they should have just ended it when they flipped him over, like, second time. But, like, uh, Mace, yeah. did, Mace against Chaos 2. But they just kept going for it. But in fairness, though, they, they'd done enough... If they were barely dying, they were still some moving at the end. And oh, yeah. Deator was not going to win that. Oh, no. That's, no. Yeah. Honestly, what could Deator have done to beat Bearmoth? Just sheer luck. 
Yeah, hopefully well, Bamoff. If they got just... if they got under Bamoff's sides, they could have flipped them over. Maybe. I think like, yeah. yeah, but uh, actually, that's the main. But yeah, well, that's the thing is, Deator's not fast enough to get on to get to the sides. I mean, Bamoff's slow, but Deator's also slow. Yeah, and plus, also has got a bare flipper. Also, I think one, yeah. I think once uh, Deator's flipper was flipped once, it didn't move again. Yeah. <laughs> so there is that. But yeah, Deator just kind of got Deator almost self-righted as well. Almost. Very nearly. Almost, but nah, not quite. Not today. Not, not ever. To, not never. And then the second one, obviously, was another the other England versus England match for the grand final was uh, Razor versus 101. And again, just like all talks battle, it was just getting it was just puncture match, wasn't it? Really, it got really yeah. crumpled on the top. It was really crumpled. Um, and but 101 never died. Uh, they just that was basically because they had um, didn't they? What it was was didn't they have to write? They put writing all over 101 because. That's mm. where the expensive parts were, and they basically had a gentleman's agreement with Razor to say, just don't crush us here because they're really expensive stuff. Actually, like, on the robot, it says, only cut here. Yeah. <laughs> and also, the little England flag, there's a picture of uh, Bunny on there, there's loads of, don't, don't hurt me. There's loads yeah. of little... Uh, Razor, did, Razor, gonna... Razor yeah. ignored them all. <laughs> this was a one... This was a one... This was basically a one-sided uh, fight. I it's mean, all, one, it, one, it, one didn't die, at least. It's also one of the kind of big symbols of the of the World Championship of seeing one one getting lifted up by Razor. Yeah, is this the first time Razor ever did that? Was lift up a robot? Uh, by I, be- I, I believe so. Where they like paraded them around, yeah. Cause they did it with Robot Chicken, and obviously later on. But I think yeah, this yeah. is the first time it actually did that. It's it's sort of its signature, wasn't it? Oh yeah, oh the victory spinning spinning uh, lifts. But yeah, yeah. And actually, yeah. I mean, the, the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Also, Bunny. Well, it, it, uh, also, Bunny yeah. didn't get killed. No, which is which is a shame. Appar- apparently, <laughs> from what apparently from what I heard, I think it was like I think it was a dad. One of the producers put it on the as, really? a, jo- as a joke, but they, 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 were, they were never intending to like put it bring it into the arena. But they did it as a joke, saying, "Oh, I'm gonna, I wanted to do that." Oh huh. like, uh, yeah, they, they, obviously they took it back. It wasn't it wasn't gonna be a serious joke, but I like, like the fact that Bunny was wearing deer tall fur as well. Oh yeah. Because why not? Well, actually, if you look closely at the, uh, the razor in one of these pictures, he's got he's got deer tall fur on the tail. Everyone has actually panic attack had deer tall fur. Everyone had deer tall fur. Everyone the deer tall virus. And that's probably where they ran out of fur. It's kept giving it to everyone. Yeah, I think that's a thing, isn't it? If you've got if the robot has deer tall fur on it, it's because deer tall helped them repair it. Oh, that's actually quite a nice little symbol, isn't it? Like Zoro, Zoro's yeah. mark of uh, approval. Yeah, Deator's yeah. Mark. That's, if Deator, if they have that fair on, and Deator help help the Deator team help repair the robot, I believe that's what it is. But anyway, ah, okay. Um, and then we it all builds up to the inevitable England versus England battle. England match, yep. Uh, which is actually this is the best fight of the whole World Championship. It's also the only match that England will ever win. Uh, yes. Razor, Razor versus Bayam off. Um, a very very good one. And face, let's face it, these two are the best robots in. Apart from maybe yes. Chaos Two, the best ones in this entire thing, and yeah. thankfully they were the, they managed to get to their final together. And the first half was completely dominated by Bamoff. And this is the start of the Bamoff versus Razor rivalry as well. It really is. I mean, honestly, as I said, the first half dominate uh, they were getting dominated by Bamoff Razor. Like, yeah, off, oh, they nearly were... got they nearly got they nearly got immobilized by being stuck on the grill. Yeah, right. Here's the thing. Do you think they they shouldn't? Do you think they should have been helped off the grill because they 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 were st- Matilda came. I don't know. I mean, they helped a Baden get off the grill. No, in fairness, in case of a Baden, a Baden was shit though. In fairness, but you know what I mean. Like, if a robot's got stuck in the grill, it's is it their fault they're stuck on the grill, or is it the grill's fault? Or is it the production fault? I don't know because the grill is still a grill at the end of the day. Mm. I personally don't think it should have been helped off because if Razor can't self right from that position, it's not their producer's fault. It's Razor's unluckiness getting stuck on there. Like for example, they don't help a robot if it's stuck on the like they didn't help Prize Fire because its fist got stuck. Yeah. So and, and that was that was because that was a design fault because its fist got stuck and it wasn't the, the arena's fault. It was their fault for getting stuck there. So at the same time, I I personally don't think they should have been helped out, but. It helped them. I suppose the, it was the match lasted a bit longer, but it's also after that event, Razor dominated the second half. Yeah, Bamoff started. I think they were having battery problems, or the battery was running out because Bamoff was even slower than it usually is. There's also a massive dent. Like you see a massive like near, near the end of that battle. There's a really horrible hole that Razor puts in. Like it bends yeah. the entire like chassis on the side. It really. It... <laughs> Although it um. Uh, Bearmoth has the Euro. Cause I'm looking at the pictures. Bearmoth has the Euro, the Euro flag on it. Also, has a license plate as well. 
Yeah, it also has to keep to your distance at the back. <laughs> Actually, I can't keep your distance. Yeah, I can't see what the license plate is. Unfortunately, on the image, the um, the time is cutting out. I'm trying to think of any other image I've seen. That... Yeah. I'm 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 just random looking through so we can find any of the images. All of them, all of my front shots because that's all that Behemoth just dominated everything. But yeah, this was a split decision, a two-one split decision. It went to Razor, and you know oh. some people would say that Razor should have lost because they were t- they were stuck on the grill. I mean, Red Behemoth would be the world championship, but I don't know. I I think Razor. This is a championship that Razor earned. I think Razor deserved it. In fairness, they yeah. they, they catch and break. Actually, I just looked at the license plate. It says England. It says ENG two. It's England two. <laughs> which will never happen because England can't score one point exactly um, but yeah this is yeah, yeah but yeah this was a this is a really good fight hmm uh-huh. uh, it's just a re- it was a really good final it was it was a good back and forth because the first half was dominated by one robot and the second half was dominated by the latter yeah and you know Ray- Behemoth managed to get a really good go at it because Ray- Behemoth unfortunately never seems to get a good go at things nowadays Be- so. Be- yeah Behemoth is one Behemoth is actually every time they fought every time Behemoth has fought a Razor they've always given it a good go like Behemoth uh, like in in the All Stars Behemoth nearly beat Razor in that like Behemoth is one of the best robots for fighting Razor hmm that is true it's just the, the two robots are almost like eternally locked together because they're very different and very similar at the same time yeah but overall this was a very, very it was so much better than the international league uh, that, I, oh, gosh, that i've yeah. completely recorded yet it's sad because i have to that's the last thing i'm going to record for this series as well in order i'm really annoyed ending it on a high note that's why, that's why I, I was slightly begrudging i was like i wasn't sure if i wanted to record these two back because i'm recording semi-final one and this back to back because alex is in both of them mm. and i was like should i because i wanted to end on a high note but then i was like oh i'll do it for time and then we can have a great now because <laughs> yeah. i just realized what my last ms was going to be but yeah, I'll, say I'll, I'll. This was so. This was obviously the last thing ever in series three. Also, not the last thing I'm going to record, but it, chronologically, this is the last thing. The we last have. thing of ever of series three, and that's. Should we just finish it off with like a talk about series three as a whole? Um, I think I, I, I might do that with Sam also. But I'll also do, I'll, since you won't be that one, I'll do it with you as well. Um, this so, is where Robot Wars took off. Well, some robots, like for example, Behemoth, Chaos Two. Hypnodisc, Panic Attack, they got a lot of the, they sort of got their signature Razor. look. Yeah, they got their signature look in the series. Yeah. Like with a few tweaks, they basically don't change it. Firestorm as well, they don't really change that much from the next series. Um some do like thing to wild yeah. thing or some of that, or maybe even weirder examples like try to mousetrap, but Yeah. Overall Wait. unlike in series four, I mean obviously I know your point about series four is Alex, is that a lot while a lot of people like it, there's not as many memorable moments in series four. Yeah, series four as well, I, everyone says it's the best series of Robot Wars. There's no like I don't think there's really a real standout heat in it. Yes. Uh, I, I, I I actually agree to an extent. I think the only standout heat for me are Razor and Pussycat's heat and Exterminator yeah. and Behemoth's heat. Those two are my favourite heats because actually lots of stuff happens in both of those. I actually remember those yeah. really well. Um, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's series four doesn't have that many standout heats. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Is like the, the reason there's, there's quite a lot of standout heats in series three because this is where we saw the debut of quite a few legends of the series. Hmm. And also leading into this series, I'll briefly talk about the seedings for series four. I'm not going to do like any kind of fancy editing. I'm just it's like a general talk. Like the seedings going into series four from series three don't make sense to a lot of extent. No. Right, I mean, there's the... a lot of gunshot, slatter shot. Oh, let's just stick them there. All right, the ones, the ones I'm, I'm looking at list now. The major problems I have: Chaos Turn, Hip Disc One and Two. Fine. Razor should have been five because they're not actually one. I mean, a, a, a I mean, Chaos Two got five in series six, and they were a two times champion. Whatever. Let's just don't get yeah. it. And then Panic Attack Four should have been maybe. I think I would put Panic Attack Four uh, a little bit lower yeah. than like six, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you got Firestorm at five. They should have been three. Yeah. Stegosaur should be four, but apparently they're seventh. <laughs> Behemoth sixth. Then Gemini's eight. Mm, okay, I, I can accept okay, that. Okay, Gemini. Yeah, no, they, 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 they were in the top eight. They were yeah, in Gemini. the top. One one in the top eight. That's fine. Top not top yeah. ten as well. Spawn of Scutter in yeah. ten. Uh, why? I don't know. I would have put Wild Thing above Spawn of Scutter personally because they didn't technically yeah. get in properly. Spawn of Scutter. Mm-hmm. Um, Evil Evil two. That's okay. Grave Digger thirteen. You mean twelve. No, uh, Evil Evil never, so, yeah, Evil so Evil's never going to be two. No, he, no, the name is Evil Evil two. So, All right. Yeah, at, yeah. As I said, I was going to say at twelve, but he went. Uh, uh, yeah. Grave Digger, yeah. Bigger Brother, fine. Willy Big Cheese. Um. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen yeah. kilohertz. What? <laughs> it hasn't won a fight. Only because of America, I think. That's the only yeah. reason they're high up. And then King B three. That's fine. Cerberus is yeah. fine. Pussycat. Actually, high. no. I don't agree with Cerberus. 
But it got a heat final, though. Yeah, I mean, it got to a heat final, but it's not... Uh, but compared to some of the other robots, it's, it's higher than. I, and I agree with that, yeah. But um, I think Pussycat should be higher than Sir yeah. Mr. King B, personally. Because um, I think one is a previous grand finalist. It's grand finalist at one point yeah. as well. Uh, Agrobot 2 at 20. No. Uh, no. Deer Tour should be higher than 21. Yeah, Agrobot should have Agrobot should have been in the in the yeah. high twenties. Why is Agrobot higher than Exterminator Two? Mortis, yeah. um, it's higher than Mortis. It's higher than Suicidal Tendencies. Yeah, why is it at the bottom? I don't get that. Berserk Two is at twenty four. They should be higher than twenty four. Yeah. I think Exterminator Two, Pussycat, King B Three, and um, I think those three and and, and, the, and maybe uh, Exterminator Two. I think I said that, but the, yeah. those count. They, they should be like in the higher ends because they're like the best semi finalists of the entire thing. Yeah. They should be around fifteen with really big cheese mm-hmm. and bigger brother with all that kind of area. Then you got uh, Shadow of Napalm. <laughs> I'll just give it to. Them. I don't give a shit. Um, they, they, they're cool. They're at least a semi finalist and heat finalist. It's okay. <laughs> um, Plunderbird Four should be a little bit higher than Shadow of Napalm. <laughs> Yeah, because that's having... the thing. Like, Philip IV should be higher than Shadow of Napalm, at least. Um, Weldor 2, okay, maybe. Yeah. So it's passable, I this, guess. It's really the end part where it just feels like they just gave it to any robot. Dreadnought, especially. Like, not Invertebrat. Yeah. Dreadnought. Mm. Like, seriously, why, is Dread... why did Invertebrat not get a seeding? <laughs> and here's another weird one. Stinger got the seeding, even though it didn't get... Stinger got a seeding of 30. That's the one I disagree with the most. I think Stinger should not have got a seeding at all. Yeah, because it didn't deserve. Because at this point, it did not deserve anything. What did it do to get seeded? That's what I want to know. I think it's it's because they brought. Is it because they brought? (laughs) Is it because they brought half the village to the episode? It's like, oh well, we gotta we gotta give them a seeding. I don't know. Yeah, Uh, Centurion. I can understand giving the scenes out of the ones they had left, but they could have done. It was even then, and then Suicide Tens is at thirty-two. Somehow it's lower than uh, Centurion, who managed to get one stage lower than them. Lower than Centurion, they've got one stage lower. Lower than Stinger, lower than Weldor, lower than Mortis. Uh, Mortis, yeah. even. But Mortis has the excuse at least being a semi finalist and a heat finalist previously. Yeah. And even Shadow and Napalm. Like, I would honestly probably give Agrobot 32. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I'll... Switch it around. Give, Ag- give Suicidal Tendencies 20 and Agrobot, Agrobot 232. Put Deer Toy, Exterminator, and Mortis above Suicidal mm. Tendencies as well, because those should be yeah. way higher. All three of those guys. Uh, and actually, oh, and Berserk too as well. Give all the put all those four above Suicidal Tendencies, and then we'll talk. This honestly, yeah, it's like for the most part, the top end of the seating is mostly okay. It's it's near the end where you're like, why that? It just starts you start scraping the bottom of the barrel at that point. Yeah. It's like they start doing Ming Dynasty getting a seat in Series Seven. It's just yeah, when's it gonna end? But uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's why they didn't do seedings in the new series because they just kind of restrict the heats and put all. Series of... five is probably the most consistent seeding to me, honestly. Because I mean, with two seeds an episode, I mean. Yeah, that was better. But actually, they did it with series four as well, and it ends up being a bit of a clusterfuck. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's, that's way that's way off yet. But um, series four obviously changes format once again. The only <laughs> this, is, this is the only series to have this format is where they have the three way battles and all that, and then. To, yeah. and back to there normal. isn't an episode of Robot. There isn't a series of Robot Wars where they keep the where they keep the format because even in series six, while well, they keep the the opening format, they up the heats to sixteen. So there's no free weight. There's no there's no losers melee in the semifinals. Just series eight to nine kept the same yeah. format consistently, but uh, yeah, so which series... might be changing. Uh, which uh, which rumor has it might be changing again. So not confirmed, but we never know. But uh, series three. It's probably my up up there with series two, my most nostalgic series. Is oh yeah, this it, is, is, the... it, is it the best series though? Right, no, better than series two because series two got rid of the. Oh yeah, the better than series two, and better than series one by definition as well. And series um... four is better than series three because this is where this is where they knew what the show was by this point. Like there wasn't teams that thought there was still going to be a gauntlet, so they made the robot have stuff for the gauntlet and, and trials and stuff like that. These were this. These were robots that were. This is for a. These are for fighting. They're for fi- these robots are built for fighting. It's a fighting competition. Yes, and series three is definitely one of the best series for a reason. Like, of the classic series, obviously, because the yeah. newer series do blow them out of the water quite a bit. But... I mean, I, I, it's, I mean, it's it, it's like I said, it's a series that took Robot Wars off. This was it. Yeah, this was the this was the um, the series that really made Robots who Robot Wars who it is today. And while I think series five and onwards perfected it with the robots particularly, yeah, I'd say 
Series 3 and 4 were the two series where I think you could still get away with having a fairly shit robot and do okay. Look at Mousetrap yeah. or Little Fly or, you know, yeah. or, you know sp- Splinter. Fat or Boy Eric, Tin. Fat Boy Tin. Uh, the Predator. Um, yeah. B- Banshee. Medusa, Medusa 2000. Yeah. Uh, um, Millennium Bug. Claude Hopper. Cameron Until Tong. the Drum. B- Bulldog Breed 2. Um, Mousetrap. Um, uh, terrible. So, so, really was terrible. Uh, hell, Cerberus even. Um, Spikosaurus. Look, all, look at all these robots. I mean, just naming off the bat. Like, yeah. I think I don't know. It's that, that's, Reactor, that, that, that's Reactor a... wasn't very good either. And no, not until Series Five. Prize Fighter Mark Two, Wheelosaurus, yeah. Killatron, Maverick. God, there's so many. Yeah. Pretty much most of the first round losers are the ones who are the worst. Actually, that, that's yeah. one. That's one thing. With a few exceptional heats like Heat C or Heat K. A lot of the bad robots went out in the first round. Yeah. Which is quite good. Like, your Fat Boy Tins, your Millennium Bugs, your uh, Till of the Drums, they went out quite early. Mm-hmm. While robots like, um, at least for the most part, again, there are exceptions like Heat C, of them more getting to yeah. the final little or Overkill or... GTI. Overkill GTI was just, it was the look of the draw. Or, 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 Obl- or Oblivion 2. That was yeah. okay. Um, Sir Weldors, um, Centurion. Cent- Centurion, Grave Digger, Evil Weevil. Centurion could have won that heat. Actually, yeah. uh, um, I'm trying to... <coughs> I'm trying to think of any others that were like okay in the first round, but actually, hell, I actually didn't mind Predator that much to a degree. He just mm. got very lucky to get hit the disc. Gra- uh, gra- Grave Digger. Gra- I, I, I said Grave Digger, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah. Um, actually, Rambot. Rambot. Spikosaurus oh, yeah, Rambot. Spy- to a degree was okay. Um, hell, I would take Claude Hopper honestly. It's funny. Not yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a bad walker, but um, yeah. So... Indefatigable, honestly, because I think Indefatigable shouldn't have been counted. Up, or shouldn't have been the one that went out because uh, well, well, after it. We'll, oh, we'll, sorry, I'm we'll, in that. We'll, we'll get. Yeah, you're in Heat A. You're on, you're back again for the first. <laughs> one, so... <laughs> Never mind. Should we actually do a preview of the next row Um. Nah, I think we'll save. I think we'll save it because we've got to do the intros, just like series four and how it's changed and all that kind of stuff. So All right. That'll be that. That'll be a lot. First episode is a lot longer than the rest of them. So. Uh, we'll say that for series four, but series three—it's a good series. It's not the best series. Nostalgically, it's my favorite series. Mm-hmm. It's where Robot Wars began. This fact, is this fact, is where Robot Wars began. Factually, series four is my favorite series. Granted, it has less memorable moments, but I feel like the format got better. Yeah, and the judges series, fi- series five is my favorite robot, and. For some reason, quite a few people like Series 7, which I don't understand, but anyway. Also, Series 5 is my least favorite series, so we'll get into that one. That's a good... We'll get up. Yay, we're going to have fights. Well, I'm not even like going to fight about it. I just don't care about Series 5. I think mainly because I skipped it accidentally and just kind of came back to it and went, oh, all right. Oh, I was excited because it, it was excited, it was the same format as Series 3, and then it was like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> But anyway, that but anyway. that's for the future. Obviously, I'm I've, as I said for my update video, I'm not doing anything a series for uh, once I've uploaded. Obviously, this will be uploaded in the in the in a week or maybe so in the near future. Once you once you hear this heat, you won't be seeing anything until at least the 14th of June when I finish my exams. So it's I only wanna... a month, guys. You can wait a month. Yeah, I'm sure you're not clamoring to me. You know, I'm not like if PewDiePie stopped uploading videos for a month, then people will start killing themselves at that point because he uploads every day. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I've got. I'm not that. Popular, Who knows so. if YouTube will, will where YouTube's going? If it'll still be here in a month. Oh yeah, I like to put monetization on my videos just to see how little I put on, I get. It's like a yeah. joke to me at this point. Like I, I recently looked at my monetization. I got like forty pence. I was like, yes. Woo! I'm up to I'm up to thirty dollars. I was like, yeah, that's I'm living the high life. You can bet. You, how many how many subways you can get with that? Oof. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, for the very last time for series three and for at least a month when you, when you when you when you're hearing this, obviously I've got a few episodes to do, but. I'm Jim Dramatic signing off series three. And I'm Alex the Hunted and it's it's things can only get better. Let's hope so anyway. Let's hope so yeah. folks. Pray for pray, pray for me. It's serious. Pray for Gabe. Pray for everyone. It's gonna be series four. See, see, you, in series a, four. see you in a month, guys. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>